Hi everybody, thank you very much. And tonight with Yaga's help, I'm very excited to be here today to share with you how NCAR is going to be sharing our scientific research and results with the public through data stories or our lecture series. The lecture series all started off with Yaga, who's an NCAR scientist, and thought that we should be sharing our scientific progress both within and outside of our community. Our director, Jim Pearl, also thought so. And for us, it is crucial that we share our scientific progress with the society. And because as a federally funded research and development center, we need the society to understand our research and also be able to benefit from the research. But to put together the lecture series, we need a lot of help from event promotion to audio video support, even many tours of the Mesa Lab where the lectures are held. But we put in a lot of work, and in 2016, we were able to put together our first series, and the lectures were delivered quarterly in January, April, July, and October. And these events were sold out right away within 48 hours, so we actually had to add another event to each one of the lectures. And these lecture series represented a diverse range of the science research that we perform at NCAR Labs. And you can see the first four lectures, and they were all very knowledgeable in their field. So Dr. Ken Chambers kicked off the lecture series, and he's also known as a super scientist, and he talked about El Nino event that is the biggest recorded on history. And following Dr. Chambers, we had Dr. Bruce Carmichael, who taught, uh, who showed us how the technologies developed at NCAR can also be operated by industry, so a wider diversity or a wider community can also benefit from the technologies that we have. Dr. Scott McIntosh is the director of a high altitude observatory lab, and he presented the eclipse events that will take place in 2017. And since the solar eclipse will only take about 2.5 minutes to uh, take place, it's really important to plan early, so these recordings are, or these lectures are actually recorded, so you can go back and review what they have said about their topics at any time you like. And last, certainly not least, special shout out to Dr. Joni Kleypas, and I was actually in her uh, live audience, I just, and I just love her lecture, and I thought, her story, with her lecture was a perfect data story because I didn't know a lot about coral reefs, and she was able to tell the science behind the coral reefs in such a simple manner that I could follow her research um, through her lecture. And um, obviously, science wasn't the only thing that she provided. She also gave a lot of great graphical information and that are easy to share and reuse. So I can take that poster and send it out to my friends and family and teach them about coral reefs. And <laughs> connecting with younger children is also really important, so she obviously thought about how we can um, make sure our younger children also learn about coral reefs. And she wasn't the only one who uh, thought about the children, of course. Dr. Connor Michael is working on drawing out everything from his lecture with this little boy and the young girls over there are learning how to draw solar eclipses. So we're, we're inspiring the next generation. So we're just really awesome. <laughs> and other adults obviously were just as excited as I was and they love learning sciences and they had great feedback and um, that's just how I felt as well. So we're really looking forward to 2017 series and we already have the four lectures lined up and I have some postcards here if you like. They're open to public attendance and I am just excited to sign up for them myself and learn more about the other research that we have at our labs. And another thing that I'm looking forward to is of course for NCAR to continue to share our data stories. It's very important that more communities learn about what we're doing and they can uh, come back and tell us their feedback and we can continue this relationship. And I love the idea that we're thinking about in car bus where we're taking the events to the people so in case they can't come on site to Mesa Lab or they can't connect we're taking the events on the bus to them. So Yaga and our um, director Jim will be at booth 408 so please feel come to go check us out and chat with them or check us out at this um, 
uh, website as well. Thank you very much.